Hey there everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. Got my lovely wife Christina running the camera and she's going to help us out with any features that I forget today. And we're here to show you our latest and greatest creation which is a 40 foot gooseneck Pioneer model. And it's got some great off-grid features as well as some custom upgrades like this beautiful uh, extendable 8 foot by 16 foot awning that extends out and rolls back up and stows against the side for when you're traveling. Great way to get some shade on those hot and sunny days. And it, the just with a push of a button, it'll extend out and roll up. And the controls in that little utility closet right there. So you just open up, hit the switch, and instant shade. You want to go on inside and check out the in interior, Tina? Yeah. So this is the a lot like the wheel height model that people have seen. Yeah, so very the similar. Same layout. layout. Mm -hmm. But different finishes as you will see and not such big windows. So we'll start here in the kitchen. We've got we'll start with the large apron front sink, aka a farmhouse sink. And this one has the lip, lips where you can set your uh, drying rack and cutting board, save you some counter space here. And we've got the two burner induction cooktop. So the pan gets hot, but not the cooktop. So as soon as you take the pan off, it's safe to touch or put, set down anything on it. We've got a convection microwave here. So they'll do their baking in there and as well as microwaving, which is a great combo feature. Save some space so they, they don't have an oven down below. They have storage space down below. We also have the Fisher and Paykel drawer dishwasher, which is an awesome upgrade and has a lot of space in there. You can fit a ton of dishes and a very popular upgrade for, the, for that one. And we've got the upgraded fridge with the uh, water dispenser. Gives you filtered water right out of the refrigerator. We've got the upgraded upper cabinets. And here we've got a, in the little breakfast area, dining area, this table folds down against the wall. And so you fold up the chairs, fold the table down, and have extra space in this area if you need it. And then back over this way, we've got the pull-out pantries. Another very popular upgrade. Gives you a ton of extra storage space for all your food. And then a little extra pantry space there. A little extra storage underneath the stairs right there. And of course, the little toe kick area where we can kick off their, your shoes when you come in the door. Oh, and speaking of toe kicks, mm -hmm. we've got our toe kick drawers underneath the cabinets so we can use, utilize every inch of storage space available. All right, check out this downstairs bedroom. So Pioneer is always a downstairs master. These guys have a lot of upgrades in the bedroom, so we're going to start with these giant wardrobes. Yeah, we've got double wardrobes, and these have an extra two feet of cabinet space above the wardrobes for additional storage. Um, three drawers down below for all your for all your clothes in addition to your hanging clothes. And then on this side, we've got a built-in desk, so it, it folds up. Um, so when it's not in use, you can close it up and have extra space here. Or whenever you have, whenever it's time for work, lower this down. The customer is going to have a monitor mounted here and work on their laptop here. And then, so it looks cute, both open and closed. Nice. <laughs> and then it just closes back up nice and easy. Custom built. You custom, said that already. Yeah, custom built by us. Some built-in bedside tables. That's an upgrade. Yep. With a drawer and indoor, so extra storage there. And then we've got USB outlets um, next to the bed, so you can charge your phone at night. So this is a queen size. This is a queen size bed, and it has. Lots you want to show space. the pop-up storage? I was just going to show there's space to walk on the side of the bed. Oh yeah. So space on both sides of the bed for no matter which side you like to sleep on. <laughs> you don't have to crawl over your, your partner to get out of bed. And then this is a pop-up storage bed. And they have 
on board 100 gallon fresh water tanks. So two 100 gallons or? Uh, 250, 250 gallons. Okay. Yep. And plus extra storage at the behind that. So you can put, you can probably fit uh, two or three storage bins in there. So tell us about the water storage. It's kind of a, um, I guess, time for when they're boondocking. Yeah, so th they wanted to be able to have complete off-grid capabilities in this house. Uh, so one of those op one of the features of that is the op is the onboard water tank. So they have fresh water, um, 100 gallons worth of fresh water, wherever they go. And it can be filled with rain catchment or with a hose. We have a. Yeah, well they did. They put gutters on the house to do rain catchment. If you're going to do rain catchment, you have to add an additional filtration system because the um, rainwater coming off the roof is not clean enough to use uh, in, in your water system for your home. So you do want to filter that water before you put it into those tanks. Otherwise, there's a, a filling port on the outside of the house where you can just fill it up with city tap water. But then you can also just put the hose directly into the house Right, and you can connect. And be on grid. Right, yeah. So okay. whenever you're there on grid, they can just connect to city water, just like a with a regular regular RV water hose connection. Cool. All right, let's go see some of the other stuff. So it's a lovely bathroom with lots of storage here. That's kind of built into the stairs. I'll show that first, and then the full size shower. I'm gonna start with the Incinolet since that's yeah. So this is the other visual. yeah another off grid feature is the Incinolet toilet. So it has a liner that goes in. Yeah, there? there's a paper liner that you put in there whenever you use the restroom, and then you press the foot pedal. It drops it down into the bin underneath, and then it has a heating element that incinerates the waste and uh, turns it into ash. And then there's a you open up the port on the front, slide the bin out, and throw it away. Nice. It's a lot, a lot easier than a standard composting toilet because everything's less maintenance. Less, I guess. less maintenance because everything's all dried out, there and you don't have to worry about mixing in um, any peat moss or sawdust or anything like that. Cool. And then we've got a, actually got a three drawer vanity, so it's, it goes all the way down to the bottom. And, and plus the lighted mirror. Show the washer dryer. Yeah, all in one washer dryer goes here. And then we've got drawers. They go all the way down. Those are those actually extend into the stairs behind. And we've got a drawer here and a little medicine cabinet here because there's a step right behind there. And then a couple of cabinets above the above for your laundry detergent and things like that. That one's nice and deep. And then mm -hmm. here's the shower. So this is, it looks like tile, but it's not, right? Right, that's a, actually a fiberglass surround. It looks good. Yeah, we, yeah, those are very popular. Work great. I like your. And look great. Yeah, so we did, the, because we did a window in here, we couldn't put a shower rod wall to wall, so we attached it to the ceiling there. That was Houston's idea. Nice. All right. I want to go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. So super secret cubby. We'll visit that on our way out. So the TV is mounted. She's going to have a work desk up here, but we just staged it. This is their um, their sofa that they're going to have, and then right, and that's a, a work desk in the corner here. Where yes, and that is a, a built-in sofa. Uh, it's made by a high-end RV sofa manufacturer, and both sides recline. Uh, this the center folds down, and it has like, uh, oh, like a US, tray. Yeah, let, actually, let's look at it. It's really cool because it's got nice. it's got your cup holders plus a little pop-up USB port. Ah, cute. And it's all leather. Has a really nice soft feel to it. And then they, we have a wall mounted TV. We've got um, internet connection 
they wanted hardwire internet connections to their desks. So there was one in the desk downstairs, there's one behind the TV, and one over here in the corner for the, the smaller desk that's going to go up here. Lots of nice windows up here. Mm -hmm. So they can take in the scenery. All right, all right. we're going to look at the solar, but is there anything else off-grid? No, we've covered all the off-grid stuff. Is yeah, we've got the rain catchment, the solar power is what we're going to look at now, and then the um, and then the incinerator toilet and the water tanks. So we've got the battery bank here. We've got four batteries, which is 20 amp hours, no, 20 kilowatt hours of, of battery. That's a, that's a fan to keep this room cool because these all this equipment puts off some heat. And then we've got four Victron inverters, provide plenty of electricity. To run the whole house. Oh, charge controller. And then a charge controller for the incoming uh, solar power. Plus storage. Yeah, and they can, they've got room to throw a few extra bins or whatever step. else they, they need there. And a little stuff to help get up into that room. And then a little fan to help keep that area cool. Is this this house does have two AC heads, but there's not one up in the gooseneck area, so we have that directional fan to blow air back into that space and keep it cool and or warm depending on the season um, and help control the temperature throughout the house. So, is that everything? I think that's everything. All right. I can't think well, of anything else. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you like it and let us know what you think down in the comments below. Be sure to click subscribe. And we love you. We'll see you next time. Thanks, y'all. Bye.